Welcome to myiacademy.com. I'm Professor Mahfouz Hussain from Pakistan. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the principles of topography. Do subscribe the channel to see the oncoming videos. By the principle, what do I mean is the different principles or the different ways in which we acquire the topography printout or the topography data by different machines. So let's see what the principles are. Just a general view, this is the topography of the earth and the elevations and depressions are denoted by the colors and same is the topography of the cornea. The elevations are hot in color or the red in color and the depressions are soft in color or yellow and green. So the question we're going to ask ourselves, are our machines doing only topography? The answer is no. Our machines are doing topography, pachymetry, posterior corneal surface data, and anterior chamber data. So our machines are not doing the topography only. They are doing the other things as well. So there are two terms now. The corneal topography, which is the studying of the surface, and corneal tomography, which is the studying of the cross section. And actually what our machines are doing nowadays is corneal tomography, which is actually the studying of the cross section of the cornea. Though we know we are doing the tomography, but we will use the term topography throughout because it's the most popular term. Now, what are the principle? Two basic principles are, one is the reflection based and one is the elevation based. Reflection based is for studying the surface and elevation is for studying the cross section. Remember the difference. Studying the surface is reflection based and studying the cross section is elevation based. Now the reflection based is placido disc while the cross section based or part topography system, slit scanning system and shim flex system. So, in normal practice, we have got three basic principles that we use. One is the placido disc, second is the slit scanning, which is used in orb scan, and third is the sham flick camera, which is used in pentacram, Cirrus, and Galilee. So, we are going to talk about the three basic principles placido disc, slit scanning, and shim flag camera. So let's see them one by one. Placido disc. Placido disc is you have got a multiple light concentric rings which are projected onto the cornea and from there you analyze the shape of the cornea. What happens? Concentrate on this area. The placido rings are reflected from the cornea and captured by the camera and that's how the camera analyzes the topography. Remember, it only gives you the topography. It doesn't give you the tomography. So you only study the surface of the cornea, not the slit section or not the depth of the cornea. So what happens? This is a cornea and you use the placido disc and you see the rings are pretty regular. So that is a regular cornea. Another cornea, the rings are regular but oblong in shape, so this cornea has got astigmatism. Another cornea, and the rings are irregular, so this cornea has got the irregular shape, and then machine constructs the topography map, and you see the different shapes. So this is the principle of the placido disc, that the light is reflected from the cornea, and the machine makes the topography map, not the tomography map. So this was the placido disc and now we are going to the slit scanning. In the slit scanning it's just like the slit on the slit lamp. On the slit lamp you throw one slit and that gives you a thickness of the cornea which is not actually measured but this is the principle of the slit scanning. So what happens in the scanning slit technology you throw 40 slits from the left hand side at the angle of 45 and then you throw 40 slits from the right hand side and then combined 80 slits 
give you the elevation data, how it measures the elevation. Concentrate over here. You've got the projector. So there's a one reflection from the anterior corneal surface and one reflection from the posterior corneal surface. And the difference between the two reflections is the depth of the cornea or the pachymetry. And from there, the data is acquired. So in the ORP scan, we use scanning slit technology. And that's the only one in the market available which uses the scanning slit technology. Now let's move to the third one, which is the Shamfleck technology. Now look, this is a camera and it is taking a photograph of this object. It has got three colors. The middle color is right in the line with the camera. So the focus will be better on the middle color while the white and green will be slightly out of focus. Now we don't want that in the cornea because cornea is not straight, cornea is curved. So we want every part of the cornea to be focused. So a simple camera will not solve the problem. So we need to do the Schimpfleck principle. Now let's see what is the Schimpfleck principle. Look over here. There is the object. There is the lens and that is the image and that is the image quality. Object, lens, object, lens and image are in the same plane because they're straight, so the image quality is good. But that is not in the real life. In the real life, the coordinate is not straight line, the coordinate is curved. So we have to do something. What we do? So how we solve the problem? We solve the problem by using a Schemfleck intersection and how we do is look at that the image quality is blurred and look at the direction of the image so what we do we change the direction of the image to make a Schemfleck intersection to get the clear image so look at that concentrate on the image and concentrate on the image quality image plane and image quality. Let's see how we do. We will change the image plane and we just slightly do it like this. Look at that. The image plane is changed. As a result, the image quality has come better. And all of three are intersecting in one point, and that one point is Schemfleck intersection. And this is the principle in Schemfleck camera. And most of the machine in use, like Pentacam, Cirrus and Galili are using the Schemfleck principle or Schemfleck camera, which gives you a much better image quality and much better printout at the end. So, all you have to remember now is that we are using the Schemfleck camera to make Schemfleck intersection, and all the three machines available in the market like Pentacam, Cirrus, and Galili are using Schemfleck cameras or Schemfleck principle. Thank you very much for being with me and do subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Thank you.